By early afternoon on September 15th, this Piper Navajo Chieftain aircraft, equipped with lasers, gathered data from a vantage point 5,000 feet above the disaster site. Then the New York Office for Technology, the agency overseeing the operation, called in an expert to turn the raw data into useful maps. We got a call saying, you're the only operational environment in town. Get your staff together and start making maps. For more than seven years, Dr. Sean Ahern has been mapping every square inch of New York City from the sky. Suddenly, his work was a matter of life and death. To generate a LIDAR map, an aircraft equipped with lasers flies over the site. The laser fires at the ground surface. The data collected will allow scientists to calculate the distance from the plane to the particular topographic feature being measured, accurate to within six inches in height. It became a particularly important tool because at the wavelength that the laser fires, the smoke is transparent. So this was the first unimpeded view of the entire site. For the first time, the actual scope of the disaster was visible, and firefighters could better orient themselves. The north tower is right here. You see you just have that shell of the facade there. And here's the south tower is right here. And there's the center of where the south tower stood.